Last fall, I did a video on human oddities, specifically on the sideshow circuit of the early 20th century. Everything from a guy who smoked with his eyeballs to the tallest man of all time, Robert Wadlow. But one person I forgot to talk about was the smallest person of all time, Lucia Zarate, the human doll. Growing up, I was always the smallest kid in my class, which I guess kind of gave me a little bit of a soft spot for little people. Like when I was a kid, my hero was Spud Webb because I played basketball, but I was a little short dude. Spud Webb played pro basketball. He was only five foot seven, which is actually shorter than I am right now. But it's not just that he was short, dude could dunk. In fact, he won the NBA Slam Dunk Championship in 1986. And watching him dunk was just like a thing of beauty because like his, his vertical leap was insane. Like when he jumped up, he just kind of like kept going like way past the part where most people would stop. It was, it was amazing to watch. And it gave a lot of hope to a short, small town kid like me. So Spud Webb, I salute you. By the way, here he was just a few years ago, 47 years old, he's still able to dunk. And he's wearing a business suit. Legend. Anyway, this video is not about Spud Webb. He was small, but Lucia Zarate was much smaller. She was, she was closer to the size of the basketball. Lucia was born in 1864 in San Carlos Nueva Guayama in Mexico, and reportedly she was only eight ounces when she was born. Although it needs to be pointed out that like most sideshow performers of her day, her backstory is a mix of legend and truth because they tended to hype up their backstories quite a bit back in the day. So uh, some of this might not be completely right, might be amped up for dramatic effect. Actually, feel free to apply a healthy level of skepticism to everything I say here, because sideshow. But the story goes that she stopped growing at the age of one and topped out at 24 inches according to the Guinness Book of World Records. And she only weighed 4.7 pounds as an adult. Lucia had a form of primordial dwarfism called Majewski Osteodysplastic Primordial Dwarfism Type 2. Now there are a lot of different types of dwarfism, but the most common dwarfism that you see out there is people who actually have a normal sized head and torso, it's just that their arms and their legs are stunted, so their, their torso is disproportionate to their limbs. But in primordial dwarfism, the torso and the head are also uh, smaller, so it's proportionally the same, which makes them look just like a kind of shrunk down normal sized person or a normal sized person standing really far away. Okay, for perspective, it was said that Lucia's calf was only slightly thicker than a normal man's thumb. Anyway, Lucia and her family immigrated to the United States and entered the sideshow circuit uh, when she was only 12 years old, and she was first exhibited in 1876 at the Philadelphia Centennial Exposition, where she was billed as the human doll. They dressed her in elaborate doll clothing, and they usually displayed her standing on a table where people would marvel at the fact that this, you know, doll could talk back to them. She was a major hit and became one of the biggest sideshow attractions of her day, touring around mostly on the East Coast for a few years. Then she actually did a tour through Europe where she actually met Queen Victoria in 1881. She continued touring over the next 10 years until her life was tragically cut short. People with primordial dwarfism generally don't live uh, to very old age. Most of them die before the age of 30, but Lucia passed away in 1890 at the age of 26. While traveling to a show on the West Coast, the train she was on got stuck in a massive blizzard in the Sierra Nevada mountains under 25 feet of snow. This was actually kind of a major event that stranded 12 trains for two weeks in those mountains. It became known as the Great Train Blockade of 1890. After 10 days of this, food rations ran out, and with the nighttime temperatures getting down as low as negative 20 degrees, Lucia eventually succumbed to hypothermia, and she passed away on January 15th. Lucia's legacy does live on in the Guinness Book of World Records as the lightest human adult ever recorded, but not the shortest. That actually gets weirdly complicated. Even in her own time, Lucia wasn't the shortest person ever. She actually shared that designation with uh, Pauline Musters, who was also a sideshow performer, and she also measured at 24 inches. By the way, the current shortest woman in the world, according to Guinness, is Jyoti MJ, who measures 24.6 inches. She's from India and she's an actress. She's appeared in several Bollywood films and she appeared in the American Horror Story franchise. But the shortest person of all time, according to Guinness, is Chandra Bahadur Dangi of Nepal, who's only 21.5 inches. He actually passed away in 2015, which makes the shortest person in the world currently Jandre Balawing of the Philippines at only 23.6 inches tall. And by the way, for those of you who are looking at this picture and saying, well, duh, he's a toddler. The guy's 25 years old. Although he does have a bit of an asterisk by his name because Genry is actually non-mobile, he can't walk. The current uh, shortest mobile person in the world is Gajendra Thapa Magar of Nepal at 26 inches tall. Not sure why Nepal is so overrepresented here. But anyway, like I said before, it, it, gets, it gets weirdly complicated to figure out who the shortest person in the world is. 
This is where Spud Webb walks in and is like, yeah, but can they dunk? Anyway, if for whatever reason you always wonder what the machinations were behind figuring out who was the shortest person in the world, there you go. You can sleep well at night. And in honor of Lucia Zarate's short stature and tragically short life, I will make this a short video. Thanks for watching. A little bit off topic, but I thought you guys might enjoy it. If this is your first time here, I invite you to check out this video because Google thinks you might like it or any of my other videos. And if you do like them, I encourage you to subscribe because I'll come back with videos just like this every Monday and every Thursday. T-shirts available in the store at answerswithjoe.com slash shirts. I have actually a branded shirt on today that I'm wearing. There's also mugs with this and posters and hoodies and all kinds of stuff. If you want them, you can go check them out. Uh, answerswithjoe.com slash shirts. Thanks. All right, I'll leave you guys for now. Thanks again for watching. You guys go out, have an eye-opening rest of the week, and I'll see you on Monday. Love you guys. Take care.